In this video, I'm going to be platinuming the Pathless, which is about an archer and an eagle who go off on a journey to cleanse the corruption from the world and stop the God Slayer, the villain of the game. Going into the game, I knew basically nothing about it except the fact that you can use your bow to shoot these talisman things in order to traverse the environment and go fast. After reaching the mainland, which is the first area of the game, we get the Adventure Begins trophy. Oh, the Adventure Begins, our first trophy of the game, to reach the mainland. All right. After climbing the tower and cleansing it, I jump off and get a trophy called Epic Landing for falling 150 meters without gliding. Yo. <laughs> Why was that a trophy? Epic Landing. All right. Well, that works. In order to gain speed and traverse the environments efficiently, we have to shoot talismans with our bow. And to get the acrobat trophy, we have to shoot five of them without touching the ground. Oh, what? Acrobat. Next up, I decided to go for the Forest Whisperer trophy. All we have to do is tame six animals by running up to them. Once we see the gold sparkle at their feet, they're going to start running with us. And to get the trophy, we just need to have six animals yeah. running with us at once. Don't do this to me. Not in the last one. Come on, bro. Come on. I see you. No, no, no. The bat is coming. No, they all scattered. Oh, that's unfortunate. Is he still on my team? Yeah, that one's still on my team. Are they all still on my team? No. Just that one. Right, come here. We need another. Here's a bunny. Go. Come here, bunny. Come here, bunny. Oh, you're so lucky. Oh, we got it. Okay. In the game, there are these storm encounters, which are stealth missions, where you have to avoid the boss of the area. After either surviving it or getting caught, we have to pet the eagle. And after we pet the eagle four times and restore its power, we get a trophy. Oh, eagle's companion. Here, all we have to do is bounce an arrow off of two mirrors. Each of the four areas in the game need to be cleansed. In order to do this, we must find light stones, which act as a currency to activate towers in each of the main areas. Activating all four towers in the forest plateau and defeating the boss will give us the Cleanse the Elk trophy. As we move on to the next area, we have to fight this giant giraffe thing. This boss is part of the trophy Cleanse the Lizard, and after we defeat the boss, we will get the trophy. Massive. What? A lizard. Powerful talismans will now appear throughout the island. We get the Cleanse the Lizard trophy as well. Whoa! Like pretty much every other game, there's lore. In the path list, these little blue orbs act as the lore of the game. And once we discover 15 of them, we get a trophy. Lore. Ancient Whispers. Discover 15 lore messages. While progressing through the game, I got a trophy just by shooting a thousand talismans. The bathhouse is the first major location we stumble upon that gives us a trophy for completing it. These points of interest have more complicated puzzles than the rest of the game. What is this? Bathhouse. Next, we have to cleanse the snake. To do this, we have to cleanse all four towers in the Great Plains and fight this big Hydra boss. After we go through all the phases of the Hydra boss, we cleanse the snake and get the trophy. Hi. Cleanse the snake. Cleanse the Great Plains. All right. Cadence of Nimu. Flaps will recharge faster after landing from a glide. That's cool. Let's see how fast it recharges. Oh, dang, that's fast. Nice. Discovering 30 lore messages will give us our second lore trophy. Echoes of the past. Discover 30 lore messages. There's a lot of lore in this game. I, I, I will never understand it, ever. The next area after the Great Plains is called the Mountain Tundra. This is the best place to get the Epic Flight Trophy due to all the mountains everywhere. What we have to do is fly for over a minute without touching an updraft. Come on. Come on. There it is, let's go Epic Flight. These storm encounters completely disappear after you beat the final boss of the game. That makes the storm encounter trophy missable. But thankfully it's pretty easy and all we have to do is survive three storm encounters without getting caught. You better stop. You better stop. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Let's go. Come on. Oh, we got it. Nice. There's the trophy. Now after discovering 45 lore messages, we get the Wisdom of the Ancients trophy. After a while, I found myself chasing this creepy bear thing. Up to this point, this was definitely one of the best bosses in the game. Boom. After we cleanse the bear, we are tasked to go up to the island in the sky and fight the final boss, the God Slayer. But in the process, he ends up taking our eagle and corrupting it. This boss was actually pretty cool and it definitely took the crown as the best boss in the game. What? 
That looks sick. Finally, after defeating his second phase, we complete the game and get the final story trophy, The Truth is a Pathless Land. You look goofy. Dang, bro. Let's go. Oh, dang. That probably hurt. Now it's time to clean up the rest of the trophies. For this next trophy, we just have to slide down a slope for 400 meters. We... Yeah, super slide. Just like the bathhouse, the monastery is another one of the areas in the game that has a big puzzle. Let's go, monastery. Lanterns are acquired by completing small puzzles throughout the various areas of the game. Collecting 15 of these lanterns will grant us a trophy. Secret Seeker. We also get one at 30 lanterns as well as 45 lanterns. Great secret seeker. Discover 30 lanterns. We just need 15 more lanterns now. Expert secret seeker. Discover 45 lanterns and that is the last lantern trophy I believe. Even after cleansing all the towers, there are still 9 lightstones in each area that we need to find. We get a total of 4 trophies just by discovering all the lightstones in each area. Light of Sorrow. Awesome. Light of Nimu. Light of Kumo. Hunter of the Light. This is for getting all the lightstones. Now we can go back to each one of the boss arenas, then deposit these lightstones into these totems. Oh, it was leading me somewhere. I thought I was... I thought I would catch it. Whoa. Wait, that's sick. Gift of the Elk Spirit. Spirit Restoration. A gift from the Elk Spirit. Spirit energy now regenerates naturally over time. Oh, that's sick. Trophy incoming question mark. Gift of the Lizard Spirit. Wait, a speed boost? Shooting Talisman now grants an extra burst of speed. That's literally awesome. That's freaking awesome. Dude, it's so much faster. Please be something cool. Fast glide. The eagle can now glide faster. Okay. Gift of the snake spirit. Alright, we got one more ability trophy to go. Gift of the bear spirit. We got ultra flap. Super flap soar even higher and faster. And we got the trophy gifts of the tall ones. We're getting the gift from every spirit. Let's see how much higher we go. Bro, that's, that's freaking... Dude, that is high, bro. Holy crap. All we did here was discover this observatory area. In the mountain tundra, there are updrafts, and reaching the highest one grants us another trophy. Doing this will also give us our 10th flap to get the Skymaster trophy as well. Let's go. Oh, there's one of these here too. Come on, will it give me enough? I think it will. Yes, let's go. Skymaster. I didn't think that trophy was for it. I was just making sure. Oh my gosh. The trophy I decided to get next was River Rider, which is obtained by drifting 300 meters down a river. Oh, it is. Okay, River Rider. The Pathfinder's Tale is the last lore trophy in the game, and all we have to do is find all the lore of the Pathfinder's story. After around 30 minutes of searching, I finally right. found the last ones I needed. The final one should be here. If it's not, I'm going to cry. Okay, we already got all these out here. Already got those. All right. Let's go find the secret door. Okay. Oh. One. Two. Let's go, dude. The Pathfinder's Tale. Find all the lore of the Pathfinder's story. Let's go. The textile workshop is yet another one of those big puzzle areas, and just like the other nice. two, completing the puzzle will give us a trophy. Pretty easy. <clears throat> Here we get the cold height trophy for discovering the old fortress. Cold hike. Reach the old fortress. Next we have to get the extended ending of the game. In order to get this ending, you just have to have all four gifts of the animals. A new path awaits. All right, so we do get a secret ending. Seems the final like trophy I needed filled. before the platinum is called Skill Shot Master. Okay, I had to get 10 skill, skill shots in a row, which is by shooting a talisman at directly the halfway point. To make oh, it easier on myself, I tested out wow. some words that'll help me measure the time one, better. One. 
Texas. Yo. Yo. Works. Yo. Three. Yo. Four. Yo. Five. Yo. Six. Yo. Seven. Yo. Eight. Yo. Nine. Yo. Ten. Let's go. Skill shot master. We should be getting the platinum as well. There it is, dude. No path untraveled. Nice. Let's go.